Taiwan shares traded wildly on Friday after Wall Street saw its worst trading day since 1987. All three U.S. indices finished the session in bear territory, down more than 20 percent from their all-time high. Before trading opened in Taiwan on Friday, finance officials urged investors to remain confident in the market. But the appeal was not enough to stave off panic selling. Taiwan shares went tumbling at the opening bell before staging a modest recovery. Wall Street just suffered its most brutal day since the Black Monday crash of 1987. It's a bloodbath and it is pushing the markets firmly into bear territory. Amid virus anxieties, Wall Street once again hit the circuit breaker threshold on Thursday. Just a few minutes after opening, the S&P 500 plunged 7 percent, bringing trading to a halt. The market reopened to shaky trading. Then, the Fed announced it would sharply increase its purchases of Treasury bonds, sending shares bouncing by 1,000 points. They moved in the Fed $1.5 trillion in the middle of the day. The market went up from the value that you see there. It went up about 1,100 points. Just didn't work. The Fed's attempt to bolster markets was short-lived, with shares ending down after panic selling once again took hold. The Dow Jones Industrial Average closed down 10 percent. The S&P 500 and the Nasdaq shed over 9 percent, joining the Dow in bad territory. We've seen that happen not once, but twice this week. There are very, very large concerns about a sliding market, and the Fed stepping in with liquidity just near the bottom earlier today is another telltale sign to me that market sentiment will probably worsen from here. Before markets opened in Taiwan on Friday, Minister of Finance Su Jianrong held a press conference with Deputy Minister of Finance Ruan Tsinghua, who manages the National Stock Rescue Fund. Uh, COVID-19 has become a pandemic. Its impact on the global economy is about to become very severe. It's inevitable. But looking at our domestic economy and our economic fundamentals, there's reason to be cautiously optimistic. It's not the case that when other markets plummet, our markets must follow. It depends on our set of circumstances. So we would like to call on investors to remain confident in the future of our markets. Do not panic. The National Stock Rescue Fund is always on standby. Even so, Taiwan shares opened to sharp losses. In just 30 minutes, the Taiex sank by over 786 points. China's done this twice. First it was SARS, now this. It's China's fault. China really is terrible. Later in the day, the three bellwether stocks of Honghai Precision, TSMC and Largan Precision rallied to stabilize trading. Taiwan shares ended down 2.82% at 10,128 points.